Well, hello again. It's Dr. August Dunning, and uh, we do these nifty little beach walk videos about dry fasting, and today we're going to continue on the visit and hit and run technique, which is what I'm uh, doing right now. What we have is a ability to kill senescent cells, and why is this important? Well, senescent cells have this little problem. Senescent cells secrete SASPs, which is a senescent associated secretory phenome, which are basically interleukins. These are inflammatory chemicals that, that enlist the immune system to come into the area to solve pathogen stuff, but it's being sent out incorrectly because the cells have gone senescent. And the interesting thing about senescent cells is there's only a few things that can get in there and kill them because they've got some very interesting defense mechanisms, one of which is the ability to take polyunsaturated fatty acids from inside the cell membrane and construct a thing called benmentin. Benmentin is like camouflage to macrophages, so it just they just ignore these senescent cells. They keep pumping out the interleukins. The interleukins keep making all this damage and uh, creating more senescent cells. So the idea here is to have anything that can break that up and stop those cells, break into that benmentin shield and stop the cells. Well, there's actually several signaling pathways inside senescent cells that Physitin addresses directly. Here's the one we offer, which is the Physitin 30 count, which is a hit and run dose that gives you 3,000 milligrams per day for five days. That's a hit and run dose, <laughs> you know. Dose adjusted for what happened to these guys. These mice were fed Physitin and returned to healthy fur and all this stuff because they found out that this is what Physitin does. It kills senescent cells. So if you kill senescent cells, you kill the, the, the problem of these secretory phenotypes creating more and more of these toxic cells that make more and more of these zombie cells. So getting rid of those is really important because during a dry fast, which is why I'm doing this now, is because if you can get rid of all these senescent cells now and have all that energy devoted during the time of just regular eating to digest the stuff up and get rid of the waste and all that sort of stuff and, and uh, process all this stuff before you go into a dry fast, Think of how much energy that's saving during the dry fast for restoration and rejuvenation. One of the things we definitely want to do before we go into a dry fast is a couple of other tricks I'm going to talk about in the next couple of days. Because in about six, six or seven days, I'm going to be going into a seven-day dry fast. And there's a couple of things that uh, I'm going to be doing before then um, that we haven't really thought about doing before. What I've done over the last seven years of dry fasting is to figure out what are these, these benefits, these senolytics, or these nutraceuticals that are able to do all this work and how can we apply them differently? Well, here's a, here's a way. Instead of taking physit all year long, try and get little senescent cells every day, just do a hit and run before your dry fast. That <laughs> just knocks the ball out, just like what happened to the mice. Then you have time to clean it out before you go to a dry fast. And there's a couple of tricks I'm going to show you about resveratrol before the dry fast as well. Because when, it, when you really think about it, there's a few things we do know that can be applied to make the regeneration and rejuvenation period during a dry fast much more effective. I mean, up to this point, I say after the dry fast, take these nutraceuticals and it'll you know, serve you well during the year and so forth when you're not dry fasting. Well, there's a way to apply some of these things before you dry fast on purpose to make the rejuvenation period even more effective. Anyway, if that's the message today. Um, it's a, uh, almost at the end of my Physitin hit and run, and I'm feeling a little tiredy, sort of, but I'm expecting that. I'm getting rid of a lot of dead cells and stuff, so I don't really have a Herxheimer effect because I'm not ill or anything like that, but I can feel a, a little bit of fatigue. And because there's a little bit of fatigue, that's, you know, that means it's working. It's getting rid of it. So before I even get into a dry fast, all that stuff will be cleared out, and I'll be home free to really do some good regeneration work. Anyway, that's the message today. Uh, again, commercial free, going to keep it that way. Um, the uh, links below, you can find out all about dry fasting if it's your first time here. There's links below for the, uh, in the see more part where you can get the visit and all that kind of stuff, just order from Amazon or eBay. And, uh, you know, tag along, do this with me. I mean, this is, this is, a compilation of all the stuff I've learned over seven years in this next dry fast, the seven-day dry fast. I expect it to be very, very interesting. Anyway, I love you guys. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and I will see you 
later. Yes? I have a message. Can you remind people to subscribe, please, sir? What now? Please. Who very well? Yes.